Back to back, eh? Yeah. How's that feel? Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. You've been, I don't know, how, how much you've been looking forward to this, just to get uh, a shot to win this two years in a row? Uh, since last week, I, you know, I like to take it like meet by meet, not sure. really look ahead, but sure. since like last week, right after um, the meet at uh, like Sir Mennonite, mm -hmm. I was so, so ready for this meet. Okay. We worked hard this week in practice and I'm just really happy. <laughs> The girl from Hemfield bolted. Did you notice that? Yeah. Connell, she just took off. Yeah. Was she trying to set an early pace? Are you aware of somebody that's ahead of you that early in a race? Or? Um, I wasn't really paying attention on anyone but my own like pace and my like breathing and stuff. Okay. But um, I made sure that I like kept in contact with her, I guess. Okay. And um, made sure she didn't like, go too far out so I wouldn't be able to catch her. But um, I think I did well. <laughs> yeah, you did all right in the end. Yeah. When did you catch her? you remember how far in? Um, maybe like a half mile. Then there was like a group of like, I, I'm not sure, but maybe I'm guessing like seven or eight girls that were like right up like at first like quarter mile together or okay. a half mile together. Okay. And um, when we kept going as a pack for the, to the start of the second mile and then that's when I started to take off. But I knew like that's how you're gonna break up in the middle of the race, not just at the beginning or the end, but the middle okay. is when you need to like create distance and just keep it going. Okay. Okay. Who was there with you? Robertson was there. The township. Mm -hmm. uh, Danae and uh, Olivia Espenshade and I think Natalie was there too. Yes. Yeah. That's a good pack. They're all good runners. Yeah. Were they pushing? Oh, you and there? Emily McBride from mm -hmm. Township. She was there. Okay. Was that, a, was that a good lead pack and could you sense them and were you waiting for their moves or um, how did that all go down mentally? Uh, I told myself before the race just to not go out and be in the lead like right from the get-go because I knew like everyone would be sitting, you know, sitting behind me yeah. so I made sure to be the person that was sitting behind someone to see how the pace was going to like fall, fall into place and then um, and then to go in the second mile like I usually try to do. Okay. And that's exactly how it played out. Like the first mile we stayed together as a pack. Um, I made sure I was like right near the girls and then when the second mile hit I just took off. At any point today or in any race when you get into a lead, do you at all ever look over your shoulder or are you just worrying about um, Greta and what you're doing? The only time I ever look kind of like not really behind me but when we're going like in like a box and it's like I'm at the, the farthest corner I like kind of like look to see if they're like already turning out of that corner okay you know I did that a few times today like down there okay but yeah there's there's a lot of spots on this course where you can right but I never actually like you. look right behind me I just kind of like like you know casually turn my head a little bit okay but <laughs> um and when you see that you have a lead I mean, you don't you don't shut it down. I mean, you stay on your pace. I mean, you don't you don't exhale, do you? Yeah, it depends depends on how far ahead. Like if it's like the last um, like shadow, like right here, and I turned my head down there and I saw yeah. that I had like a good enough lead. I mean, I didn't like settle in because I knew it was the end and everyone to uh, guns it at the end. But I made sure to keep my pace up and not just like like settle there, just keep going. Okay. What's the final stretch run like? in a league meet and you know you're going to win the thing and everybody's watching and well, what's, what's going through your belly at that point? Um, I just want it to be over. <laughs> if I can mm. see it, if I can see the finish line, it's just kind of like you're begging for it. It's like taunting you yeah. and all I just want is just to cross it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Any problems today at all? Did you run the race you wanted to run? Uh, I wish my time was a little bit better, but um, I, wanted, I wish I worked the second mile a little bit harder because I feel like I had a little bit too much at the end. I, okay. That sounds weird, but I mean, like, I feel like I was pushing it harder than I expected to, so I should have okay. worked it harder in the middle of the race. Do you want to be exhausted at the end of one of these, or do you want to still have some energy and some pep? Um, I feel like you should be exhausted if, you know, you like, gave it everything you had. Okay. And I, 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 right at the end, obviously, you feel like you do, but if you're as peppy as I am right now, I feel yeah. like you shouldn't, which makes me kind of feel upset at myself that I didn't push it harder, but okay. it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You it's got the gold. Right. You got the gold medal. That's it's that's okay. that's good. <laughs> Did anybody give you any advice at all in the last week? Um, Are people in your ear saying do this, do that, or um, but you've run so many of these now, even though you're a sophomore, I think you know what you're doing at this point. Um, my coaches always give me a little pep talk. Um, not really um, like strategy, but just saying like you want to make sure like you don't go out too stupid, you know, like like okay. ridiculously like sprinting and make sure you're not dogging it either, you know. Mm -hmm. But just that kind of like regular before race have talk I guess okay but you don't want this run to end here I mean you're just flying this season we talked about this before I mean you you've won everything you've entered yeah how great is this streak I mean you got to be flying higher here right now and it's it's really like an honor I feel I'm always like so happy with how I do mm -hmm. I mean besides like bad days like if I if I feel bad or if I have a bad time 
but I still like like the end result, obviously. Mm -hmm. But lately, I've been so blessed. Like, I'm so happy, like with how everything's gone. I'm I'm usually like really happy. Ready for districts? Ready for Park View? Ready for the hills? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Will you train differently for that because it's so hilly? Yeah, we'll do a lot more of our hills in our in our in our our courses like. Hill, like that's a good one to practice on. We'll be there a lot this week, I bet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And again, I probably ask you this several times this season, but you're going to have bullseyes on yourself. Oh but you seem to like that. I mean, you don't you don't really mind that, and you just kind of thrive under that kind of pressure. Is that how this will go in districts? I think that's how. I think that's why I'm always so nervous. You know, with like people talking and like the all the pressure that's putting on, like to you know do a repeat or whatever sure. it is. It just really gets to my like. It really hits me, especially like okay. the night before, the first two nights, like the nights in front of it or before it. Right. But um, I usually can't sleep. I didn't. I tried to go to bed early last night, but I just kind of like sat in bed, like staring at the ceiling, going, "Crap, it's tomorrow." <laughs> it's tomorrow. I got to do this. <laughs> like. And then all of a sudden, bang! It's there, and the gun goes off, and you're in the middle of it. Oh yeah, and now it's over. So I'm relieved. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. It feels but it good. starts. But it starts all over again tomorrow. Because there's two big ones out there. You know. I mean. Hopefully I don't get sick. <laughs> oh, no, please stay healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, do, you, do you tip your cap to the league here? Because you're done with the league now, and you got through the whole thing undefeated. And good competition. What, I mean, what was it like getting through this whole league here? Um, this, is, this league is seriously like, amazing. We have really good girls, and it feels so good to be like the winner of it. I, I'm just overjoyed. Like it might not sound like it because I'm tired, but I'm sure. I'm so happy. And this league is just amazing. All the girls in there are really good, and I, I really like this league. But it feels good. Two for two. Oh boy. How about that. I'm I'm so happy. Congrats. Thank you. Well done.